favorite buys at Costco, their chicken wings. So today I thought I'd show you how to make baked chicken wings. No oil necessary. Shout out to Kenji Lopez, this is your recipe. Thank you so much, I followed you for the last few years. If you want the real recipe, you can go check out his channel, but I'm gonna show you how I make them right now. Okay, so for the chicken, it's really basic. All I'm gonna be using is baking powder and salt. I'm gonna be coating the um, chicken wings in that and then putting them on the rack and letting them sit overnight in the fridge. For the buffalo wing sauce, I just use Frank's Red Hot. I'm gonna be using both the Red Hot wing sauce as well as the original. You're gonna also put some butter in there. I'm using Kerrygold and a bunch of garlic that I just crush up. I'll show you the whole process of how I make the sauce as well. But first, let me prepare the wings. One reason I love this is because you don't have to deep fry and it's easy for anybody to do and it's delicious. No one's ate this and thought, are these baked? I've also used this recipe to make deep fried chicken wings. And obviously that's very good. Just surprising how crispy it gets. And the secret really is convection. If you have convection on your oven, that is the way to go. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is dry off your wings. You don't want any moisture on it when you're prepping it. So what I do is I just take some paper towels, lay it across a pan like this just so that it's easier to clean rather than getting the you know, chicken juices all over the counter. To prepare this, it's better to do this the night before or even in the morning of the evening you're gonna eat these. Heads up on that. The salt and baking powder mixture that you, we're gonna be using on these is gonna help to dry out the skin and that's gonna make it so that it crisps up and more moisture is removed. After that, all I do is towel over it. Now, I watched Kenji Lopez's video and he says in his recipe, eight to 24 hours in the fridge. When he was doing a YouTube video of it, he only did it for, I think, three hours. So it's not that big of a deal. But if you want the skin to be super crispy, the longer it's in the fridge, the better. I didn't know this until I watched that video. But when you put food in the fridge exposed to the air, it dries out the outside of it. Now, I'm just going to take a bowl like this. I'm going to put salt. I believe it's one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking powder per pound. So I've got two pounds of chicken. Obviously, if you have a whisk or something, that's gonna be even better. All right, now I'm gonna put all the chicken into this bowl. And what I like to do is I just, little by little, I add the salt and baking powder mix. Add the rest of the chicken. Put the rest of the Salt is kind of a lot. Maybe that was a little bit less than two pounds. I know, that's what I like about that beer company. They're really artsy up there. Take a rack like that and just spread them out. What this is going to do is let the air move all around it while it's sitting in the fridge. It's gonna pull out that moisture. The baking powder, I believe, reacts to the skin and does something to the outside. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the fridge for the next 24 hours. All right, so just for this video, I did prepare some already. I'm go we're gonna be eating these tonight, but this is exactly how it was sitting in the fridge for the last 24 hours and then we'll eat these tomorrow. You know what, this is a good chance to show you. See how it's glistening a little bit? It's a little wet on the outside because I put that salt and it's already starting to extract some moisture. Let me show you what the other rack looks like. Look at this. Actually looks a little dried out. This is what happens in the fridge. Same thing with steaks too. So if you ever wanna dry out your steaks before you cook it, you can do the same thing. You can salt and pepper your steak the night before, put it in the fridge, just like this on rack. A little trick I learned. Because they've been in the fridge, I'm gonna let them sit out here for about five or 10 minutes because the pan is still really cold. I will set the oven. I'm gonna use convection. So bake for 50, and then we'll just let that heat up. The directions say for 20 minutes, you're gonna leave it in there. And then take it out flip all of them, and then put them back in there for another 15 to 30, and flipping is gonna be important. So um, it's smoking a little bit. 
Just a little bit. So it's so smoky that I had to bring it out here. I'm gonna transfer it. This happened last time. I just didn't cook as much, but um, I'm gonna transfer it to a whole different tray because the whole house got smoky. So FYI, Kenji Lopez did not mention this. So I'm gonna let you know. Guess it happened to me last time too, but you know, seven of us, we eat so much more. So all I'm gonna be doing here, I'm gonna just flip these, just like that. I'm gonna flip them all, and then put them back in the oven. I can already see it getting a little bit crispy. It shouldn't be as smoky now. Now, on the recipe, it says to do this a couple more times even after this. I did it one more time. Jiggle and turn. Jiggle, turn. When it comes to celery, it's really just something to cut, cut the fat because of the heaviness of the chicken wings. Carrots, I'm just gonna peel them and then slice them again, just like the celery. Really thin sticks. Done. All right, so for the chicken wing sauce, I'm gonna be using Frank's Red Hot, the original, and the wing sauce, just because I have it, I might as well finish it. Butter, garlic. You just need a little pan like this. I'm gonna start it by putting it on a low heat, like that simmer. So one thing I did find out that works better is to heat up the Frank's Red Hot sauce and then add the butter. If you add the butter, it, uh, it doesn't combine as well, so I do heat up the red hot sauce with the garlic, and I'll show you how I do that right now. So it's simmering on the high heat right now. You can use whatever sauce you want, but of course, this is the classic. I just eyeball this. I don't even know what the measurements are, honestly. Okay, so this one has canola oil and vinegar in it and butter. This one is just straight hot sauce, basically. Oh no, this one also has vinegar, but this one, this one doesn't have the canola oil or the butter. When it starts bubbling, I'm gonna lower the heat. I don't even care that it's gonna cook or not. The garlic press minces it so fine that just the subtle heat you get from the simmer, in my opinion, is plenty. I will be cooking this as I add the butter too, but just on a super low heat. All I want is the flavor of garlic. I don't need it to be a lot. All right, so for the butter, I'm just gonna add it little by little. I don't know, I don't even know how I stumbled on this, but I used to cook the butter first and then add the sauce. I find that uh, adding the butter into the sauce is way better. At this point, I'm putting it really on the lowest heat. I'm just going to continue stirring it and stirring it and let that butter integrate slowly into the hot sauce. It's been about a total of 50 minutes. I didn't even turn on, but see how the edges are a little bit black? That's okay because it's super crispy. I mean, like, you can kind of hear it. It's almost as if I deep fried it. All right, time to combine everything. Oh, yeah. You hear those? You hear those? that almost as if they were deep fried and they were just borderline overdone yeah. and I caught them just right in time this is why you gotta pay attention to it you can hear it. hear that oh yeah so what I'm gonna do is pour not all of this just just enough to coat them oh my god yeah I let people dip it they want a little extra in there Oh yeah. <laughs> you don't want it too saucy. People can add more if they want. 
Are you a blue cheese person or ranch person? I'm both, but I still like ranch better. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mom, mom, mom. Mm. 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 How is it? You like chicken? That is so good.